Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Andrew Plays. And as always, I am your host, Andrew Ambrose. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's beautiful outside. I got my summer clothes on. I'm happy and as comfortable as always, even during these times of crisis. And we're going to have fun with another obscure but awesome retro game. Today's game is a Konami game from 1984 for the MSX computer called Magical Tree. It's a fairly simple platformer, but it's very fun to play and highly recommended to anyone like me who loves action platformers. So without further ado, let us begin the game. I have my NES controller with me and let's get ready to roll. So in the game, you play as a little native boy, and you have to climb this magical, tr this tall magical tree, while avoiding enemies and other things that get in your way, and collect items to get points. It's fairly simple, nothing too special, but it's a fun little game, and it features ver it's a vertical scrolling platformer done many years before Super Mario Bros. 2 the US Mario 2, or Doki Doki Panic, if you want to be more correct in that statement. But, yeah. Uh, Konami did it first, and they did it a very good job. Or at least, they were one of the first people to do it. But, either way, it's a very fun game. Just jumping between vines. It's very fun. You get the knife. It's just like in Ghosts and Goblins. You get the knife. I don't know what the knife does in this game. I don't. I don't know if it's just for points or anything. But hey, ain't nothing wrong with getting the knife. Eh? Right. Up to. So basically, in the, I think uh, in the state in the stages you have to traverse 200 meters. In order to clear each stage, I'm not exactly sure, but that's my best guess. Oh, a rattler! Oh, careful. Can't let those touch you. Snakes bite. Literally and sometimes figuratively. Snakes can be pretty cool, except when they kill you. Then they're then they're then they're jerks. This fairly simple game. So, uh, yeah, um, you guys ever seen Winners and Sinners? It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Hey, the level's complete! Hooray! So anyway, as I was saying, uh, Winners and Sinners, one of my favorite mo movies of all time. It's an action comedy from 1983. Star, uh, directed by and starring Sammo Hung. Um, you might not know him unless you've seen the, sh the fi uh, TV show uh, Martial Law, but before he did Martial Law, Sammo um, did a lot of great action movie, action comedies in the 70s and the 80s. And even today, he works on some movies. I think he actually worked on the Ip Man movies, so if you're into those, uh, yeah. But either way, even if you aren't into action movies, Winners and Sinners is definitely a very good movie, a very good feel, it's a very good comedy, and it's, it's just a, it's just a nice happy movie about a bunch of friends trying to make it in the world, while also fighting bad guys and just, you know, getting along, it, it just, it just puts me in a very good state, state of mind, especially with the, with the ending, um, but yeah, I highly recommend anyone any of you guys check out Winners and Sinners. Um, it's not on streaming, but it is on DVD, and if you look around, you can find it um, other ways, like me. But no matter how you watch it, um, I highly recommend. Ooh, Rattlers. I highly recommend the movie. It is phenomenal. And Jackie Chan is in it. it is, so if you're in a Jackie Chan like I am, You'll expect some amazing action and comedy scenes, especially the part where uh, Jackie and Samo's characters 
fight a bunch of uh, uh, robbers in a burger ch in a burger palace or a burger parlor, and another scene where Jackie is uh, roller skating down a highway to catch some criminals, and it all ends with a big uh, a bunch of cars crashing into each other. It's just a an amazing scene. It's like just just a fantastic movie with a lot of funny scenes and just a really good feel overall. I really recommend it to anyone, to be honest. And, uh, I actually, uh, I saw it with my dad last night. Um, when I was at his house, we, I decided to watch some Winners and Sinners with him, and he really liked the movie, too. And, so, yeah, it's like, a fantastic movie. With Sammo Hung and Jackie Chan and a couple other famous Hong Kong uh, comedians. Um, and as a matter of fact, Winners and Sinners, um, it was such a big hit in uh, Hong Kong that they, uh, that uh, Samo would later make more movies with them as a part of what was called the Lucky Stars series. Um, basically, the movies had, like, all the same actors, but they were, like, different characters. It was, like, similar, but not exactly the same. It was, like, different characters and different in a different storyline but it was still like the same sort of idea of five friends just getting along and just trying to work together and do and just spend time together and yeah it's just it's amazing i have like yeah uh, i've seen like only like one of the uh, lucky stars movies the first one was uh, my lucky stars in 1985 i saw that one i didn't like it as much as winners and sinners but i thought it was awesome too especially the part where jackie chan is fighting off a bunch of bad guys uh, while dressed as arale from dr slump yeah that that it was a weird scene but it was kind of funny seeing him fighting bad guys as arale Oh shit. I got killed. Um but yeah, there was I also watched a teeny bit of uh, the sequel Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars. Um I didn't get to finish it, but so far it's pretty good. I don't I don't know when I'll finish it cuz I there are other movies I want to watch, but yeah. But I definitely recommend Winners and Sinners. You, you have to see that movie at the very least. It's just a, a wonderful movie that stands on its own with a fantastic story with great characters, funny moments, and great action scenes. I just cannot just proclaim my love for that movie. Um, with I, I just can't proclaim my love for that movie enough. It's like, uh... So basic. So you're probably wondering what what is the what is the movie even about? Like what what's the story? So basically, there are five guys. They they all get put in prison for various reasons, but they all meet each other in prison, form a group of friends, and vow to uh to um, stand up for each other, to be there for each other through the hardest of times. And well, they form a group called the Lucky Stars. And well. But, like, their names are, like, um, uh, Teapot, Vaseline, uh, um, um, Curly, it's Teapot, Vaseline, Curly, uh, I'm trying to, re I I'm trying to remember, uh, I, I can't, I can't, can't exactly remember all their names, but, like, the main character, the main guy is, uh, I mean, well, the main character is, who's played by Sammo Hong is Teapot. And, well, he's the one of the group who always gets told what to do and kind of pushed around and teased. But, he, but he's the char he's the character you sympathize with the most and he's the kindest of all of the five. And, well, and, well, he's the one who gets the happiest of the, he, he's the one who, gets the very happy ending in the end, which is really nice. And well... And, uh, basically, th they meet in prison, they become friends, and then they get out of prison, and they start a new life as reformed people, um, 
living with Curly's sister, Shirley, at her house, and they formed their own uh, cleaning company called the F the Five the Lucky Stars Cleaning Company, and basically they now work as cleaners. Like they clean houses, they clean windows. You know, it's like an independent company. And well, and well, they're they're making a happy living. They're all enjoying each other. And well, but there's uh, there's this local mafia. This uh, criminal who gets out of prison, out of the same prison that they get out of, um, he uh, he's in a counter, he's in like this counterfeiting racket, and he's trying to he's trying to get his counterfeiting business back off the ground, and like he has like the suitcase full of counterfeit U.S. dollars with the counterfeit molds, but the suitcase accidentally ends up in the the Lucky Stars uh, van. And thus, the lucky stars, they get caught up in, uh, they get caught up in this, uh, mafia thing. And, well, they have to fight their way out. So, yeah, um, I guess my game is over. I, I actually got pretty far. And, uh, that was, that was pretty fun. Sorry if I went a little off talk if they're talking about winners and sinners, but... Hey, I didn't really have much to talk about with Magical Tree, but nonetheless, Magical Tree is still a very fun game that I recommend you check out, and Winners and Sinners is a fantastic movie that I think you should check out too, if you ever get the chance. So I guess all I can say is, is, uh, stay safe, stay, stay safe, stay happy, I, enjoy yourselves, we will get through this, because, well, we've gotten through so much, as a, as a, as a human beings, that, well, I, I don't see us not surviving this one, so, keep up the good work, everybody, and I hope you all enjoy yourselves, you all are mighty fine people, and as always, I am Andrew Ambrose, and I'll catch you later.